So the Prairie Project is a USDA funded grant um, and there's four collaborators across four different states. So we have um, Oklahoma State here, we have Texas A&M, uh, University of Nebraska, and then we also have some collaborators in Kansas. The project is a five-year study into finding the best practices in controlling woody plant encroachment, whether it's wildlife habitat, water disruption, and land for grazing, the loss of grasslands negatively impacts the ecosystems of the Southern Great Plains. We know that in the Southern Great Plains, we're kind of losing the battle against woody plants coming into our grasslands. And so we're trying to look at different approaches to do that um, sustainably and economically. Well, woody brush encroachment is, is a serious problem because we are losing an ecosystem. Literally grasslands are disappearing from uh, from Oklahoma, from Texas, from the Southern Great Plains and the entire Great Plains at alarming rates. It happens so quickly. You'll hear producers say, I lost my pasture overnight. Texas A&M Extension Rain Specialist and Prairie Project collaborator Morgan Treadwell says producers in Oklahoma and Texas face similar issues because many plant communities overlap. The overlap in plant communities is also what makes this partnership and collaboration so powerful um, because our ranchers and our producers are dealing with the same problems. And so when we can combine um, extension, outreach, education, and also the scientists from a research perspective, um, we, we stand a better chance. Project collaborators, who are all in extension, are studying a two-prong controlling method, patch burning followed by grazing cattle and goats together in the pasture. Adding goats to herds, uh, to existing cattle herds, and trying to see how we can use them to further the control that we get from fire. Um, grasses don't try to defend themselves from grazing, they just grow back really quickly. But broadleaf plants and woody plants defend themselves with um, different chemicals that they produce. And goats are uniquely um, adapted to being able to process those different chemicals that those plants create. Goats, in my opinion, are an underlized resource. They're kind of a little uh, blessing in disguise and a diamond in the rough. They're very low maintenance. They add diversity to that grazing picture. So they're going to consume plant species that would not normally be consumed. We know that cattle are drawn to areas that have been recently burned because of the really nutritious growth that comes back after fire. But we don't actually know how goats are gonna respond to that. And so we've put GPS collars on our goats on our cattle. In addition to the GPS research, we're actually we're also actually tracking what's happening with the woody plants that grow in these pastures. The Prairie Project team isn't just testing the study on land owned by the universities. Local producers have volunteered their land and animals to the research. We are working with ranchers and producers who are starting from ground zero. So they're experiencing all these growing pains of putting in uh, goat friendly fencing. That initial cost can be, you know, uh, can be a lot, uh, especially when we start thinking about all the other challenges that ranchers and producers are already faced with. The initial cost of introducing goats to an existing cattle operation is a hurdle. But with the growing goat industry, stopping woody plant encroachment might not be the only benefit. It could also positively affect a producer's bottom line. You know, a lot of producers spend a fair amount of money uh, on spray, chemical control. Um, they may use fire or they may not. Uh, but goats, uh, you know, with their preferences for forage uh, are a natural way to control uh, woody species in particular and, and some uh, weed species. We anticipate it very likely will be a net benefit. So you may get the benefit of weed and brush control with the goats and at the same time add additional income to the overall operation with the uh, addition of a goat enterprise to the cattle operation. When you can introduce a win-win situation and scenario to a rancher and also increase their bottom line, their overall profit, um, that, that is what extens extension is all about. That's what our mission is. And we need to make sure that this research ends up in the hands of the folks that can use it and also um, and benefit from it and feed their families from it. While there's only a few more years left in the grant, the Prairie Project team plans to continue this research well into the future. From the Rains Research Station in Payne County, I'm Curtis Hare.